up, everybody? Dad, Welcome Dad, back Dad, to our channel. It's Janayan. Mommy and, and John. John. And welcome back to Vidgety Bob Playlist. And today's topic is... Da, 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 da. Please. Don't make permanent decisions in temporary places, little children. So parents, on this video, we're going to learn how to teach our kids how... Not to make permanent decisions in temporary places. It's dedicated to all the little ones who may have attempted to or has taken their lives. Because they were just in a temporary place, but they made a permanent decision and took their lives because of it. So, in this video, we've been vigilant about our kids and we're going to teach our kids how to expect new things so that does not happen. We don't want that to happen to us. Now... We as parents all been there where we our kids come home from school or from wherever and we say, Kids, how was your day? How was your day? Now once upon a time, once upon a time I kept asking my daughter, How was your day? Well what happened today? How was your day? You would say Good. Good. How was your day? Good. How was your day? Good. How was your day? Good. That became a problem for me. Like, okay, what was good about it? So in this video, we, we're going to go to details of what we should be feeding our kids, what we should be teaching them. Because every day, if every day is good, then guess what? Yo, yesterday looks like today. And we are creatures of habit in our life, and that's the way our mind works. It wants to keep us in the same habit. And it's dangerous for kids because if they're in a bad place in their life, they're going to think that... Okay, this is always happening. It's going to stay happening. But no, 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 no. They're going to learn that nothing stays the same. we always going into a new season, okay? You got four seasons, winter, summer, spring, and fall, and none of them stays forever. We have my girls. Okay, Naya, she just passed pre-K. She ain't staying pre-K forever. She ain't staying first grade forever. Now she, wait, she ain't staying... Kindergarten forever. Now she's in first grade. She ain't gonna stay in first grade forever. She not. You're not gonna stay in elementary forever. You're not gonna stay in middle school forever. You're not gonna stay in high school forever. You're not gonna stay in college forever. You're not gonna stay in anything forever. We're always growing, right, girls? Yeah. Growing. So no, there's no need to make permanent decisions in temporary places. Temporary places. So you want to show your kids this? You need to find yeah. ways. To bring it up out of them. What what happened new today? Okay, every day should not be the same because we go from glory to glory, and if we go from glory to glory, the glory yesterday should not look like today, and today should be better than yesterday. Okay, this year is supposed to be better than last year, and you have to expect it. Okay, so that is the word expectancy. You want to be expecting something new every morning. I get up, I'm expecting something new. Every day y'all go to school, y'all need to be expected. I know it seems like, okay, you get up, go to school. And even I'm tempted every morning, okay, Monday, take kids off from school. And something comes over me where it's like, oh, just another day. No, it shouldn't be just another day. But you have to expect something new. Because I expect something new, we're going to give a testimony today where we went to church and... It could have been just another, just another Sunday at yeah, church, praise and the worship, but that's not the way we want to teach our kids. So, Janelle, what happened today? Was today just another Sunday in church? Well, it was, it is not a Sunday, but this Sunday was actually better than last Sunday. Because, well, first, when we sat down, we sat next to the singers that go on stage, and we didn't know that until they walked on the stage and started singing. Um, next... Um, we went to the altar. Oh, and we went to the altar, and John met a new friend that babysit us. That um babysitted us when we was at the oh, babysitted baby John when we was at the altar. And we also got to take a picture at the. It was like a pretty background. Had like a yes, it was a fall background, and they asked us. Put that right here. 
Well, if we wanted to take a picture. And what did you say when we was in the car about that? Um, about the line. You say, he asked us when there was no lines, because it could have been a long line after church, but he asked us when there was no lines, there was no lines, yeah, no way. Yeah, it was and no, he asked us. It wasn't packed. It was nice and clear. It was nobody there. It was only him and us. That's it. That's right. And we got into the picture without being, making it be so crowded, because it was a lady with the baby. It was crowded when she took a picture. Yeah, it was crowded. So we had the VIP service. So there you go. Today could have been just another. It's not. It's never and we also just got another to, day. What else? And we also got to go outside and get some warmness. Some warmness, exactly. We ain't never go outside because it was so cold in church. She wanted to heat to uh, mm-hmm. heat up some. Mm-hmm. We ain't never do that before, mm-hmm. right? And, and you sat there and you held the door. You for people because the door was locked. The door was locked and you held the people, so you did your little mm-hmm. community. When you close the I mean, door, service. Well, mommy, I knew people was going to be coming, so when you close the door, I just heard me put my finger there so I have it open. So when people come, like, they can. That's why when you came, the door was still open because I was holding the door for people. Yes. So I hope you are blessed by this message. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, protecting our kids from us, those. Four videos, I believe, was very powerful, so powerful. I go back and watch it myself. Let me say, if you don't receive it, I receive I receive my own messages for myself, okay? And if we want to raise children, that is the children of our future, that is better than the children of our future of the past, yes, you'll catch that. But yes, that is the goal here. We want to raise better children of the future because the children of the future of the past I don't know what happened. Somebody let them down. But uh, we're here, and we're preparing the parents and teaching the parents how to prepare the children. And you want to teach your kids these, these messages, just go ahead and teach it to them. Give it to them. Live this. So live every day when something new happens. Show your kids how something will happen. Check out my video. Uh, what was that video? I'll put a link to it. One one Sunday service, you know, when you expecting something good to happen, when you expecting something new to happen, it's going to happen. So I want to thank you for watching. Girls, you want to close out this video? Well, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And do all that fun stuff. And see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.